Good day. This is Roger signing in for the BFN, the Business Financial Network. And welcome to our special podcast series, The Stock Talk, where we get exclusive insights from CEOs of the many companies our investment audience have been following as we continue to assist our viewers in the discovery of unexplored brand new asset classes and emerging issuers in the world's markets. And it's a pleasure, as always, to introduce Mr. John Lai. How are you doing today, John? Doing really well. How are you, Roger? I'm great. I'm great. Pet Vivo has been on a tear today. Um, you know, we've been watching the markets. We've been really excited about what's been happening with security. And man, today, I think you guys hit your 52-week high. Correct me if I'm wrong? We set a new 52-week high. The old 52-week we high go. was 295. I think we Traded 315 today. <laughs> I don't know where we called. The Rambles here to hear all about it. I, I'm sure that there's a tremendous amount of things that you guys have been doing. Um, you guys have been going to a lot of conferences. And um, most recently, you guys had an earnings call. And I was reading the transcript. And John, I got to say, I'm really impressed. I'll be dropping the link to the transcript of your last earning call in the description. Um, but more importantly, your, you know, your fiscal results uh, for Q3 of 2023, the revenue is up over 10x, a thousand percent from a year ago. Tell us a bit about that. So that quarter was the first quarter that MWI started repping our products as a distributor. So, you know, we went from our five sales reps orientation or, or back actually on a year to year basis. I think we had two sales reps at that time to MWI having 400 territorial managers and 300 in, over 300 in-house sales reps. Uh, obviously by the share number that would do extremely well uh, in the marketplace. Awesome, that's awesome, that's, that's unreal. And more importantly, I've been looking at your guys' uh, growth strategy here and I believe you guys have opened accounts in over 47 states in the U.S.? Yeah, actually, it's beyond opening the accounts. We have had repeat orders from the vets within those 47 states. And some of the states really surprised me by the number of vets we have in because I was taking a call. One of, the, one of our shareholders called me and said, hey, I'm in uh, Virginia. Uh, can you help me find a vet for my horse? And I, so I called my, uh, one of the office managers that handle that. And he comes back, he goes, well, what part of Virginia? I said, well, how many vet clinics are using it? He goes, 23. I go, wow. <laughs> I was thinking that's like two or three, you know? <laughs> that's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. That's really incredible. That's really incredible. So you guys did a raise also just recently, right? Uh, yeah. In, you know, I've in, in, always in, talked about, I have a very dedicated, loyal shareholder base. They understand the equine space. Uh, and so I went and just brought in like 1.4 million pre, pre expenses. I think the expenses were only 25,000, whatever. Uh, so that was just to shore up a little operational money as we move forward. Uh, and we did it at the market. So the market at the time, uh, on a Thursday closing was two dollars and thirty two cents, and the money was in Friday morning at two dollars and thirty two cents wow. at the market. So you know, because right now being the difficulty for the micro cap space, uh, brokerage firms when they're going out to raise capital, all the institutions and you don't say the word collusion, but they seem to always give you a thirty five to fifty percent discount to the market, and then they get a warrant issued. And everybody wonders why the stock trades down after they do an offering, because they, you know, you you understand warrants, yes, the ability to create a synthetic short stock to protect yourself, yeah. Agreed, agreed, agreed. It's called naked shorting, and yes. uh, there's, there's a there's <laughs> and, a tremendous... and even if it's not naked shorting, they they it's to their best interest to do that. <laughs> agreed, agreed. They're hedging their bets. Yep. And that's the most craziest thing, you know, I'm, I'm, we've been watching the stock and I, I, I'm really impressed with the price action. I'm very impressed with what I'm hearing when it comes to operations. And more importantly, um, I believe on the earnings call, uh, I heard a gentleman talk about the fact that 
he purchased the horse for three hundred thousand dollars, and he used your product, and he's so impressed. And and again, all this is public info. I'll be putting it in the um, in the link below. And the fact that you guys are the only organic solution for this issue, that you know, w- w- you know, I know you guys got about a bunch of cl- clinical trials that are going to be happening. W- what what's the timeline on that again? So on the call, I stated we have seven trials that will be completed before year end or by year end, I should say. And a whole series of those, I believe, will be published before then. And the next one coming up uh, is an ethos study on torn cruise chefs in dogs. And that one will be the second week in March at the Veterinary uh, Orthopedic Society, which is a very prestigious organization of board certified veterinary doctors. Um, we don't know what the study looks like because you know the clinician does the study, but he submitted it to this prestigious organization. And he told them, you're approved to present it at our organization. So I don't think they would approve a study if it was really bad. <laughs> so, agreed, so, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. So, so we feel pretty good about that one, but it's, it's a very good catalyst because remember, we didn't have to do any of the FDA studies because That's right. we were funded by NIH on the human side. All those studies right. automatically gave us clearance as a veterinary medical device. So now we're doing all these studies purely from a marketing standpoint to give the MWI reps a piece of information that they can point to when they call on the vets. So we feel it will be a very good catalyst to go after the small animals because probably 90, 95% of our sales during that period were to the equine space. So, okay. yeah. So when we get this study in March, I think, uh, Realistically, it just doesn't happen overnight because we got to train the salespeople at MWI about all the data, yeah. and answer the questions. So I believe we'll, it'll start showing up probably third or fourth calendar quarter of 2023. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, in a meaningful way, you're going to get some, but I mean, I think the big ones will kick in. And then also, you know, since our sales are so much in the equine space, you got to kind of take in seasonalities because all the events in Northern United States shut down like in October. So we actually did quite well, given the downtime that all, you know, there, there's no uh, horse racing, there is no uh, rodeo events in Northern, in the Northern part of the United States during this time. So we're going through a quiet cycle. And we, and in my opinion, we did quite well with the 510,000 uh, quarter, given that, you know, a lot of the performance horses were not were during the rest period. <laughs> Listen, when you do five hundred and ten thousand dollars in revenue in your year before that, you were at fifty one thousand. Yeah. Listen, you had a good year. You did ten x. You did a thousand percent increase in revenue, and more importantly, um, us being traders and investors, just recently today smashed your fifty two week high record. So and in a bad stock market today. <laughs> bad market bad market i like to, i like to uh, yeah let's make sure we add that as well i know and, you know that's really exciting um i know we're excited to also hear more uh, news about merge when that's going to be coming out um what's the timeline on that what are you thinking gosh i'm pretty confident within the next 30 days we'll be approved to be trading on the uh global exchange awesome awesome and i'm excited to hear about that too so you know, John, I thank you very much for taking the time with us this Friday. Um, it's going to be a great weekend, long weekend. We wish you the best. Ramble wishes you the best. And more importantly, we're looking forward to hear more about this exciting, exciting play on the NASDAQ. Congratulations for hitting your personal best on a 52-week high. And more importantly, I'm very excited to see your revenues and, and your earnings call go as well as it did. The link will be in the description. Um, And as always, all the information being shared here is for entertainment and educational purposes. And we here at BFN are not financial uh, advisors and no past performance guarantees future gains or losses. Okay. Well, thank you for reminding me. 
So I'm giving you some possible forward-looking statements too. So our attorneys <laughs> always want that in there. So we cover oh, that. You, you and Rambo have a great weekend and we'll talk to you later.